Oh, man. He, uh, this week, he chair. Welcome back to the Void City Podcast. I am Dan. I'm Toast. And it has been a while, at least as far as filming goes. Uh, not as far as when these are going to be released, I guess. But we're going to try to change that around. Things are finally kind of getting back to normal here. Toast, you got a new job recently. Yep. And then, surprise out of nowhere, I got a new job recently. Uh, my own choice. Nothing bad happened. I, well... Okay, I guess 10 years of bad happened, which s spurned this new job, but uh, it's good times. It's uh, something completely different. I've been getting used to that, but I think i am finally gotten the hang of things. Got editing time now, so that's going to be good times. We got a new shooting schedule. It's great. Um, you got anything uh, interesting that's happened in life since last time we did this? Five months ago, I guess no. We did the toy show. That was recent. That was fun. we did the toy show. We did that. Uh, that was pretty fun. So obviously, we're gonna look forward to doing some more stuff like that with maybe a better camera system next time, <laughs> more focus on the actual displays. But I don't know anything. Anything else fun for you? I'm trying to customize more. Yes, yes, yes. We both are. I think. What are you? Uh, anything you want to talk about? They're working on real quick or. I want to leave it to a surprise. I screwed up a Rhinox. No. Oh. And I haven't had the time to go in and fix the paint. Was it an adhering problem? No, it's a... I shouldn't have used the paint in the first place. It was partially dried out, but there was enough liquid in there that I'm like, all right, I can still get what I need to cover. Uh. And then I, could, I, could, I got all of the arms, and then when I was painting the legs, which was a separate day... I couldn't get the greens to match, and so oh. I'm like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and I know uh, we all know how we both feel about the colors matching. The on colors the same match, figure. yes. They, they, so they need to. <laughs> I have to go in and like remove the green and then redo it. And uh, you I can't just, just go over it, or would it be too <sighs> thick? I've actually had luck scraping the paint off. Oh. And the undercoat is still there. Wow, which is surprising. That's but damn yes. good undercoat. So, <laughs> so, wow. Um, I'll I'll wet it. I'll thin it. I'll do whatever. And if none of that works, I'll just go over it again. Oh, but uh, that's where I'm at now is getting greens to match. But otherwise, he looks fantastic, and I'm very happy. That'd be pretty awesome. It's much better than it was. There's a Groot that I started. There's a there's a Hell Diver that I need to die, and I've never died a figure before. And by so, Hell Diver, do you mean like from that new Hell video Divers game? Hell 2, two? Yes. yes. Do you play that? No. No? <laughs> Wilson. I've been tempted. Wilson wants oh, someone right. to play I with. See. Yeah, I've been tempted, and then they did that whole Sony thing this past week, and I was like, nope, not don't, don't even want to dig out that garbage. And then the Sony's next day, gonna Sony. The next day they were like, well, we're not going to do that because it ruined the game pretty much irreparably. So... I, I don't know. I'm still up in the air. It looks fun, but it also looks like a game where I know I would get it and start to play it, and then no one else is playing it anymore, which always happens when I get a multiplayer game. Every time everyone's like, get this game, get this game, we can all play, we can all play, and I get it, and everyone's like, yeah, dude, we got this new game. That game's old. We don't play that anymore. I uninstalled it. Uh, cool. So. So, there's that. I've got a bunch of stuff brewing, as always, with customizing. Nice. Nice, nice. Same here. Same here. Actually, same problem as you. I was trying to match some blues recently. But I think I got them matched up. I just had to figure out how to install a cape on this current one. Hmm. That's the main problem. And then I have to paint and possibly sculpt eyeballs onto a face that is this big. Oh, for that one. Yeah, that's hmm. going to be fun. Hmm. I have the hair all sculpted. Everything's good. But it just it looks weird with it being flat here next to other characters. So I kind of want to have there be like at least an eyeball that I paint over. So I'm probably going to have to go in there with, like, itty-bitty epoxy. And Good luck. Yeah, that'll be fun. All um, right. I'm going to try to film as much of that as I can. Yeah. So, yeah, customizing. We both got some things coming up. Uh, I, I just filmed, so you haven't, I showed you a picture, but I did film uh, removing the the bumps off of Animal, Land, Animal Man's legs. Yes. Yeah. So I'll have another tips video on how to remove paint. It looked really good. Like, so that was not painted over. You just straight up stripped that off. Yep. That looked like perfect. Wow. I love that coming up. That was pretty good. I look forward to that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, 
had a weird thing happen to me going home a couple days ago. Oh, boy. Have you ever seen Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the original one with, like, Donald Sutherland? Nope. Oh, an old movie I've seen that you haven't? That, you, that never happens. I'm usually the one who's like, no, what movie? Yeah, so this whole movie, like, whenever they would find people who have been body snatched, uh, right, like, their whole thing, is like, they'll find the people, they look normal, and they're like, hey, is everything all right? And their guys will just turn around and be like, Aah. and then everyone just stops and points at you, and, like, and it's like so they know, like, you're not body snatched, and you're like, get them, they're different. And this whole movie, you know, the whole they're trying to like get away with everything, and then finally at the end, like she goes and sees Donald Sutherland, the other main character of this movie. And spoiler alert, she's like, "Hey, is everything all right? Like, we gotta keep going." And he turns around, and he's just like, Aah! and does the same thing, and that's kind of like, and she's like, "Yeah," that's like how the movie ends because they got him too. Yeah, so I get home from work, and I live in an apartment building where I park on one side of it, and you kind of walk through a tunnel. So there's like units on either side. You go through this tunnel and come out the other side on the other side of the building and then ours is on the back side of this building. All right, that's cool. So I get out of the car, I get all my stuff and I'm walking into this tunnel. And I notice this dude coming out towards me who's the guy who lives on the other side of the tunnel from us. So kind of like our neighbors across the way. And I see him walking towards me and I'm just walking towards him. I got, you know, my backpack. I'm just walking. I'm just kind of like, hey, what's going on? And he's walking towards me and he just kind of gets really close to the wall and does like this, and he's just like... And just kind of walks past me, and I'm just like... <laughs> oh... Okay. And I look back, and there he's just looking over his shoulder, all like... And I'm like, okay, and he just but he kept walking, and I kept walking. I don't know what... It was the weirdest damn thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it was the, the weirdest, like, I don't know, what, what is happening? What is happening to humans? Why, why are you like this? Why don't you know how to interact anymore? COVID wasn't that long that you should have lost all interactive skills. Like, it's the weirdest damn thing. Sounds it's the weirdest weird. thing, yeah. So, stranger danger, watch out for body snatchers. Don't be polite to people, I guess, anymore, because they might look at you weird. Yeah, that's your mistake. You yeah. started the conversation in a tunnel. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you head nod in silence. Yeah. I'm not even going to do that anymore. If I see someone in that tunnel, I'm going to walk all the way around the building. I'm just, you know? I'm just going to go back to work. So I'm getting some overtime today. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, enough of that silliness. Let's talk about some toys. So mm -hmm. what we think we're going to do with this whole podcast format moving forward is... When new toys are being announced and coming out or hitting shelves, I think if we obviously can't get all of these. Uh, there's a lot of them both of us just don't want, you know, and it's silly to just buy a bunch of toys you don't want. I mean, that's it's kind of weird. I don't. None of us have room for that anymore. Um, so we figured we'd at least look at ones that seem interesting, give some thoughts on them. We're looking forward to them. If we're not looking forward to them, and what we think of these guys, and uh, just talk about some new stuff coming out. So... I kind of put together a little list. Toast added a couple other things to this list, and we're just going to run right on down through there. All right, so the first figure I found when I was looking through some new stuff that's coming out here in the near future, this is something we haven't really talked about before on this channel, uh, hot I, toys. This surprised me because I didn't think you were interested in this scale. I, I'm, Or this price point. I, yeah, so let's talk about that. Uh -huh. I have two actual Hot Toys figures in my entire collection, and then I have two other figures that are the same scale, basically, but they're not Hot Toys. They are, like, DC collectibles or something like that. There are some other like a Hot Toy, basically, but they don't look as good. Uh, those are Batman and Joker from The Dark Knight, and then I have Joker, the bank robber one, mm. and then Two-Face, Harvey Dent, both from The Dark Knight, and those are both Hot Toys figures. Mm. And I had those in my display case. They looked amazing. The, the details on both their faces were just like photorealistic. It, it's, it's ridiculous how good those figures look. The cloth clothes look good at that scale. It's like about the only scale to me where a lot of those clothes actually look good. Yep. You get any smaller than that and they start to look kind of funky. Um, but would I keep buying these things? No. Uh, this, 
this is such a dangerous collection. Oh, yes. I mean, these things are, this guy's $250. For the lower end version, because there's a deluxe. <laughs> See, I didn't even know that. That's oh, yeah. horrific. There's like a, a coin version. Oh, my God. It's a whole thing. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Luke. Yeah, so we got Luke Skywalker here from Dark Empire, which is a comic by Dark Horse Comics back in, I want to say, the 90s. And uh, they were really good. They were sequels. They happened after Return of the Jedi. They had all the main Star Wars characters in them back then. They're considered legends now, but that just means they were better than the current Star Wars stories, usually. Uh, so this is basically Luke Skywalker, but it's kind of like dressed like Darth Vader a little bit because part of this story features Luke unfortunately turning to the dark side for a little while before he is eventually brought back to the light side by Princess Leia and her unborn child in her stomach. Uh, but anyways, uh, I saw this guy. I'm like, that, that looks pretty cool. I am not oh, going to get it. It straight up is cool. But it looks amazing. It's one of the best Mark Hamill heads I've ever seen. It it really is. And it's, it's, it's kind of funny considering it's a Mark Hamill that was drawn in a comic book and not even from a movie or anything. So it's, it's awesome that they got him looking photorealistic, but they got the costume right too, which is essentially basically like a Darth Vader suit without the breathing apparatus and without the helmet because yeah. the Emperor basically turned him into a new Darth Vader after defeating him. But this thing blew up the uh, the other toy group chat that I'm in. Really? Yeah. Yeah? They, they were excited? Yes. They're going to get it? And then there was, oh, at least two, three of them, I think, are getting? No way. Yes. Holy cow. Because then the conversation continued during the uh, free comic book day after meal, oh. when when two of these people were in the same room and they're like, Arr. yes. So this guy is the conversation has been going. He's causing waves. Apparently, yes. this is a, a popular figure. Uh, I imagine a lot of the Star Wars fans are going to be gobbling this thing right up, getting it on their shelves. I know there's people that have just entire rooms that are walls and walls of just display cases full of Star Wars characters or Marvel characters or just everyone. It's. I wish I could get these things, but I don't know who has room for that and who can spend $250 a figure. It's. I don't have the attachment, but I recognize it is excellent. Yeah, it's... If you're into Star Wars and you're into this story, if you're into Hot Toys, this is definitely one of the better ones oh, yes. that I've personally ever seen. And if by chance you haven't read the story, yeah, go do that. Do that. Uh, if, if nothing else, find Dark Empire 1 and 2, graphic novels by Dark Horse Comics. Find those. The art is fantastic. The story is great. Uh, it has a real return of Boba Fett, not the garbage Disney show that uh, where he sits in a chair and does nothing no uh, it has everyone acting the way you would expect them to and then also the way you wanted them to act beyond the movies which they don't do now and it's sad <sighs> Star Wars is sad Star Wars is very sad I, I wonder if we will live long enough to see Star Wars be not sad <laughs> ever again <laughs> That's a uh, interesting. Hmm. That's a tall order. Hmm. I just heard the other day George Lucas is maybe coming back to Star oh, Wars for again. Oh, fuck's sake! Yep, and I remember you just the other day used that as an insult that something was written like George Lucas wrote it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not good. No. So there's that. So this next one is a little bit strange, at least to me. So this goes kind of way back in time to some of the old Ninja Turtles comics from Mirage Comics. This is a NECA Ninja Turtles figure, and it's the character Kirby, who is based on Jack Kirby, mm -hmm. the comic book artist and writer. Mostly artist we Mostly know him for. Yeah. Designing, helping to design, possibly design more than we know of, or than he is credited for many Right. Original Marvel characters and even some DC characters, mm -hmm. such as like what the New Gods New and Gods, all that yep, fun yep, stuff. Yep. You get the gist of it. Anyways, <laughs> they kind of wrote him as a character into old school Ninja Turtles comic books back in the day as kind of an homage to him because who doesn't love Jack Kirby? Uh, and so now there's going to be an action figure of him. 
And that's uh, it's kind of interesting. I wonder it how is that will do. And I will probably get it. I wonder if we will find it at our Target stores, considering the state of them. <laughs> I hope so, because my, my local Target usually has NECA. It has an abundance of gargoyles at the moment, and I'm waiting for Ninja Turtles to hit. Abundance of gargoyles? Yes. Like ones that you'd actually want, or just like all... Ones I already own. Oh. Like, there's no new ones. See, I still, all I see is, what's his name, the reverse Goliath and the, okay. the human. Oh, no, I haven't what's seen her for a while. Mother. That's like all I see. Angela is what my store has. Uh, <coughs> okay, yeah. So, I imagine I will see him and it will probably get him. Are I'm, you getting him for the Ninja Turtles or for the Kirby or for both? For Jack Kirby. Because I did not read the Kirby Mirage issues. Neither have I yet. I have them, but, but I haven't gotten that far. Um, as soon as I learned how shifty Stan Lee was, I shifted my allegiance to Jack Kirby. I think a lot of people who were paying attention did. Right. <laughs> so I might get a Kirby figure just, just to have to a Jack it. Kirby. I kind of think that's why most people who get this figure will Probably. get it. Probably. I don't think they're going to get it because they remember him being in the comics. I think they're going to get it because they're going to be like, holy shit. It was like the neighbor Kirby or something. Figure. That's awesome. I think in the... I've heard I've heard stories about the character, and I think he was like their neighbor. Anyway, <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, Jack Kirby action figure sounds awesome. Yeah, and he comes with this little like demon guy, and his, it looks like a notepad and a pencil, so you can have him draw, <laughs> drawing a Ninja Turtle. And he has a I don't know what this is like a big power glove or something crazy maybe. And he also has four extra hands, so he can do a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's pictures of him drawing comics right on the back of the box. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. I really like that. I just thought that'd be interesting. And uh, I think a lot of people are going to see that and be like, huh. I think it's based huh. on the Vernon body. I think. No. Wait, is Vernon the boss? Wait, what's his face? Vernon's the, the skinny guy. Yeah, I think it's based on that. Maybe. Huh. Or cut it because I'm wrong. <laughs> Next, we have a toy that was just announced from McFarlane Toys. This is the White Knight Batmobile. Yes. I am super excited about this. You buying this? I'm going to buy the hell out of this. This is my favorite Batmobile, aside from the Tumblr. As far as comic Batmobiles go, this is like, this is the best one ever. I love it because it reminds me of a spinner from Blade Runner, and it just looks sure. awesome. I think it's like the coolest design. I don't know. I just think it looks amazing. But most Sean Gordon Murphy vehicles look amazing. <laughs> For sure, yes. <laughs> he makes uh, even the bad Batmobiles look good. Did you did you read that comic? White Knight? Yeah. Yeah, I read okay. all of them. I, I loved it in, in, in the comic. It's not one of my favorites because the top two, I would say, are animated and Burton. I don't think I like it as much in physical form as I do in the comic, so I'm not going to get it. But space is also an issue, so like I just don't have many vehicles. That's true. I bought the bike. The bike and, is and awesome. The bike is about my limit. Right, and you actually as... display it correctly. So, yes. Not fold it up like everyone else on the internet seems to do, which I don't understand. That was like, I think, literally a mechanism just to fit it into the box. Because it doesn't do that in the comic ever. Right, yes. <laughs> so, whatever. I don't know. I think this thing looks badass. There's a question of whether or not he's going to make a new White Knight Batman to go with it. Because I think the cape... The cape would be a problem. Because right. his cape is plastic. Now, it shows him sitting in here with a plastic cape on. But the second one... Where he had the harness, was that the two-pack? Yeah, that was the two-pack with Azrael. He just has, like, the sword harness around that him That should instead. be able to fit. Yeah, oh, yeah, that would fit just fine. I'm just wondering if maybe he's just got the cape folded up underneath his butt and it's just in there. I don't know. But, yeah, it shows him with the plastic cape, but I think you're right. I, this could just be they cut the bottom of the cape off so he'd fit in there. <laughs> like but, the spawn throne. Just to have <laughs> yeah, here's just the top, and then it's like a handkerchief. 
It's like Fred from Scooby Doo. I don't know. This thing's like eighty nine ninety nine. Some people are off put by that. It's, it's expensive. It's expensive. But I think if I get one more Batmobile, because I still have that Flash one, and it's still sitting in my storage unit, and I don't even know if it has the correct fins, because I haven't opened it yet, but I know it's going to have the canopy that's wrong. Whatever. This thing looks amazing. And I hope it looks that good in real life. It's like the first thing I can imagine, I can remember in the longest time where the McFarlane photos, to me at least, look good. Yeah. And I want it to look like it does in the photos, whereas usually I'm thinking, oh, I hope it looks different than those photos because those look <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I hope it looks better than that. Yeah. Those are awful. Also, whoever is posing this figure doesn't know what they're doing. Well, <sighs> who's next? Next, we've got another... McFarlane Toys offering here. This one is kind of surprising given how late it seems to be showing up to the game. I mean, not that he hasn't done stuff for things that have been out for a while before, but... Lateness is a factor, but also movie reception. Yeah, oh, yes. It's very strange. But then again, the Batman and Robin wave sold amazingly well. Oh, it's the ghost of Christmas shock and awe. It's already gone. Damn, it's a phantom. Is he gone? He's probably just standing back there like a weirdo. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, movie reception. This whole thing is just weird. So this is a two-pack. It's Shazam with burn damage mm -hmm. and Freddie Freeman, his buddy, who is just a repainted Shazam who's blue and silver instead of red and gold with a different head sculpt. And so you saw this movie? Yep. Yeah, I still haven't, and I don't at this point really feel any inclination to see it. Uh, like, why? Why is this a thing? That I was my first thought when I, I saw know. this. I thought it was a joke. I didn't think it was real. Like, I thought someone made a custom and threw it up, and I'm like, oh, that's a damn good custom. All right, cool. And then I'm like, no, it. Everyone posted it. It's real. We order it now. So they showed up on the leak lists months ago, and those things are just titles. It's just names, and so you have no idea what it is. Yeah. In my head, it never crossed my mind it was going to be a movie. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a repack be of the uh, Walmart Shazam. Which should, I would love that. Should get back out there. Yes. The Walmart I, Shazam with the blue I never got it. Freddy. That, to me, would make sense. If you're going to do movie, do Mary. Yeah, because you already she have the awesome. head sculpt. I'm telling you, you've already got it. That Wonder Woman is bullcrap. That was Mary's head slapped on an old body with new legs. This is confusing. Yeah, this is just why... It's the next clearance. <laughs> it's the next Superman versus Ultraman smiling Ugh. disaster. And apparently the next Batman Beyond in his green and black kick-ass costume where he looks more like Ambush Bug than he looks like Batman versus old white and black Superman. The white and black Superman doesn't look bad. No, it doesn't. And I wish Is I didn't have to get Lord? that dumb Batman to go with it. Mm. Yeah. It's a good body, though, if you just, like, psh, spray Is that, the whole thing black. It could be the same repainted. I don't know. But this, yeah, this is just confusing and strange, and I don't think it's going to do very well at all. Everyone would probably want Freddy for some reason, even though... They're still not going to make the rest of them. Well, yeah. I mean, Freddy's at least a unique character. I'll put unique in quotes. Yeah. He's a repaint with a new head. I could see a lot of people grabbing this to steal that head and putting a different head on there and returning it, Or, Or you could buy multiple and then make the green one, too. Oh. Um. Next, we have got another McFarlane Toys figure. Because, why not? However, this one's kind of interesting because we did review a previous version of this figure at least once, possibly more than once. This may be the third or fourth Tim Drake Robin figure we've looked at. I'm still waiting for a good one. Now, this one might come the closest as far as everything from the neck down. I can be happy with it. But what the hell is he doing with these face sculpts lately? These goofy smiles and these weird smirks. I don't, it's, I don't know. It's like the face that the Damien cartoony looking figure is yes. making with that like That's Calvin exactly and Hobbes like mm, anime little his mouth is on the side it's of like... his cheek under his eye. And it's the same thing. 
like I don't understand. Like it, it's so close. It's so close to being an acceptable Tim. Like I'm gonna get this thing and I'm gonna put a different head on it because I like the body for it. I like the suit. The cape might need to be replaced. I don't know about that cape. I'll have to see it in person. Looks plastic. It, it, it's definitely plastic. But at least the body, like, he's not gigantic like that last Tim Drake that yes. was just freaking huge and as big as Superman. He's the right proportion, it looks like. I don't know about the green shapes on his legs. They're... Yeah, there's weird lines over his knees. So it's close, but I might be able to bash something together right. with this and others. And paint. and Yes, and yeah. paint. I might so... ultimately wind up with yeah with the five tim drakes that are available i think we could finally make a good one pretty damn close with with all these parts i want what i ultimately want is a pre new 52 red robin see that like, would be great with the full cowl right yes yeah like the what was that like batman ink times around there is that like morrison Mm, it was somebody else he had his own series at the time okay but he um, just showed up a couple times red top black pants Cowl, no ears. This is what I want. I think there's like one figure of that, but it's an older one and it looks really goofy. I have the Kingdom Come old Robin, which is actually, I think, Dick. But anyway, I have the Kingdom Come version, which is like, I don't know, 25 years old or something. <laughs> Red Robin. <laughs> and it's awesome, but yeah, it's not, you know, modern yeah, we need sculpt articulation. Something that fits in with the with the modern group, yeah. I want a young pre new fifty two Tim Drake, not the uh Oh, I almost said Liefeld. It was Scott what's his face who was writing it. Lobdell. Yeah, I Lobdell. don't want I don't want the Lobdell. Mm, no. That was yeah, that no, oh, that was weird. But with parts between the various Tims that we've gotten. Yeah. I think we could put something together. This is a good base. Oh, yeah. I mean, that head's not, like, it's not horrible, but it's not the one I want on my shelf. There They're are just... some good third-party heads, though. Oh, yeah, there are. There are, definitely. So, <sighs> A real quick segue, speaking of this guy, we both have now seen the new ones on the shelf, Rival and Batgirl. Yes. Uh, I think we both skipped those. Uh, Rival, eh, it's, eh. It's like the third version, fourth version of that figure now. And I was hoping it'd be a bit darker like the platinum version of Jay Garrick. But it's kind of a more maroon almost if I, color. If I could have gotten, if I could have found the platinum Jay, I would have gotten it. Because it looks right. awesome. It looks fantastic. Um, but I have no interest in Rival. Yeah. No. And um, I would like that version of Batgirl, but not this. Not on that of, body. Not this version of that version of Batgirl. Cause that, Not that body. Yeah, that's the original Sean Gordon, Sean Gordon Murphy Batgirl figure that came out but with like the uncred- Batmobile piece. Uncredited White Knight? Yeah. Well, it wasn't White Knight. It was from an actual Batgirl series. Right. And I, I can't remember if he drew the series, but I he drew he, the covers. He did the cover. And that's where it's from. It's from right. the cover of that book. It's So it is kind of an uncredited. It's so bizarre. It's so close to her design in White Knight. But it's it's the tallest figure. It's so it's, tall, and right. the Batman from that same wave is so short. So, so it, it's it's very strange, and I just don't want another Batgirl that's towering above everyone else. And her head looks really tiny. I also just never read really much Cassandra stuff. I so. read a little bit during No Man's Land, which is I think when she kind of first showed up, because I do remember seeing her origin where she was the little girl, and they brought her to the guy, and she was sitting on the desk and was just like, "Hey, buddy." Boop and scooped out his trachea with her two fingers. Like, literally, it was like two panels. She was just, like, in front of him, and he's like, oh, you're so cute. And then there was a shot of her just doing one of these, and he's like, Bleak. And then she's just, like, holding this, like, floppy thing, and he's all like, ah! And it was just over. I'm like, you, you can just pull out. This isn't a Kill Bill eyeball. Like, what? You can just pull someone's trachea. Holy God. It's so fucked up. And now she's Batgirl. Because we love murderers to be our sidekicks. If Harley Quinn can be Batgirl or whatever she is now, <laughs> who the hell even knows what she is? Kind know. of a Robin? I yeah, think. sort of-ish. Mm. Yeah, very strange. So I like the cape on that figure. The cape is nice. 
but I didn't even look that close. I saw it, and it was um, I saw it once before the street date. I didn't even att attempt to buy it because I didn't want to own it, but I, I just didn't look that close. Yeah, it, and then Rivals posed sideways, so you can't like really like get a good look. All the damn but, Flash figures. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we get it, Todd. He runs like we know. We figured it out. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, we can skip those guys. I'm happy that it's gotten to a point where I can skip a lot of these figures because I'd be living underneath a bridge, living off the drippings from the ceiling <laughs> because <laughs> I'd have no, absolutely no money left. Oh my God. So now we're gonna be looking at some that Toast picked out. So this is one that I haven't actually seen yet. Uh, you wanna introduce this guy while I'm looking him up? This is the 90s Danny Catch Ghost Rider with his motorcycle. Looking at the oh okay, all right, okay Marvel Legends. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. So I will repaint it, and I'm gonna fill in the shield holes because those sh should be, you can see a little bit there, but like on the front of the bike, like the yeah, what should be headlights. Oh, I see, like the eyes or okay. cavities. Oh wow. Are you gonna put actual lights in there? Probably not. I'll just oh. like fill it with something. You could get one of those little Legos. I don't. I have enough problems. I don't want to get into electronics. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I talked about that in a recent Spider-Man review that I did for Revenge of the Sinister Six, where it's almost but not quite the new Fantastic Four. It's Ghost Rider, Sleepwalker, Solo, Deathlock, Spider-Man. Ghost Rider Hulk. It's everyone except for Wolverine. <laughs> everyone? Um, yes, it's everyone except for Wolverine. <laughs> and uh, I've wanted a new Fantastic Four set on my shelf, and I've been waiting for this Ghost Rider. I'm, I haven't actually pre-ordered it from anywhere. Wow. It is starting to sell out, but I'll get it from the comic shop. Um, this is the start. That's this is pretty good. These are six inches? Yeah. That ain't, that I'll, ain't I'll bad. Re, I'll repaint the bike in metallic. Because, of course, I'm going to. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, I'm sure you're going to make those chains all chrome and everything. And Oh, my God. This is the start of my new Fantastic Four. <laughs> the bike... So Fantastic here, Seven. <laughs> the bike looks maybe a little short. Maybe. I can't tell if it's just because of like the weird flame tires. It doesn't seem like it has like full-size tires. But in my head, it seems like it should be slightly longer. I feel like the back wheel should stick out a bit more from the body. Maybe it does. Like Maybe it pulls out like the the White Knight motorcycle. But as soon as I have it in hand, all of that goes away. I'm not oh, going to yeah. care. I'm just going to be like, oh my God, no. this is so awesome. So you're going to put it in all the fire around it, and you're not going to be able to see it, and it's going to look great. Yeah. Oh. So that's my one like question mark. Is it too short? But it's not enough to get me to stop buying it. Yeah, no. I think, I think, unfortunately, a lot of vehicles that come with these figures get their proportions and their scales slightly messed around with just so that they can fit in the packages, first of all, because the packages always have to be a certain size for the retailers, and then also just to, you know, keep the cost at a certain level. But I think it looks good enough. I think part of why it looks weird is because that big shield on the front makes the front look extra big, so it makes the back look smaller. I think if that shield wasn't on there, it would look a well, bit more normal. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be at a different angle. Like the front should be out. If the if the front should be angled up slightly so that the front tire could be out further. Sticking out more. Maybe. I don't know. Either way. Either. It, it looks... Awesome. I'm, I'm buying it. I don't, yeah. I don't care. I buy it. <laughs> Good. Because <laughs> it looks amazing. I actually dig this. And I'm not even a Marvel Legends fan. I've only actually seen one Marvel Legends figure I can remember in recent history. It's actually sitting right over there. It's the coolest Spider-Man I've ever seen in my life. It's, uh, what was that? Last Stand Spider-Man. That thing is awesome. Walked into this room earlier today and this guy is standing here. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I'll throw up some clothes on this. This should be Spider-Man's suit. That should be what he looks like. That's awesome. I like it. And I'm sad that it's so a Marvel So this Legends. is my list of, of toys. Upcoming. Oh, oh my God. This is just release dates. Not all of this is on order. Wait, you're gonna, you want to get all these? These are the ones you're going to get? Um, potentially. 
How do you have this <clears> much room? I don't. Look at all these. The answer's no. Wow. I, I don't. Um, McTuck Starfire, I don't know if you want to do. Grayskull Splinter, if you want to talk about. The only one of those, I guess we can talk about those real quick, the, the, the He-Man guys. I mean, that's more your thing, I think, than me. I haven't really seen too many of them. I've seen a few at the store. The only one that stood out to me really was there was Slash. Yes, Slacker. With, with like, yeah, the robot looking guy. His chest was like ripped open. There was weird stuff in him. But the thing that struck me about this figure was he was huge. He was huge. Things like this big. Well, like it, 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 not quite. It looked humongous. But, yeah, it's huge. I was like, wow, that's that's a big slash. There's figure. something I find incredibly funny about a, a buffed up splinter <laughs> that I think I'm gonna buy it. See, it's times and, like these. And it's just like <laughs> I'm just gonna look at it and laugh every time. Because yeah. it amuses me. It's times like these I'm happy I only get the turtles and not the extra characters, cause Man, if I had to start getting splinters, then oh, I'd have to start getting like shredders. And... But so ideally, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy the 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 He-Man splinter, and then strip off the gi that's on there because I don't want the harness. I don't want yeah. the He-Man harness. But and then you get a soft goods gi to go on, and just have giant just have splinters. ripped splitter. <laughs> oh my god, I'd laugh every time I look at it. I want rip, I'd be so happy. Rip Splinter, but voiced by Jackie Chan. Oh, man. And have that same personality from that movie <laughs> with his cockroach girlfriend. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, man, I see that Mankind on there. Mankind is already on order. WWE Mankind, so ultimate figure. I pre-ordered two of those, one for each of us, yes. a couple of months ago, like February. And they're coming out in September, so oh. it's it's just waiting at this point. That's awesome. It's been way too long, uh, way too long coming that I get a Mankind or a Mick Foley in general figure. I don't really have any. I've got like an old figurine, but it's like an 8-inch figurine, so it doesn't scale with anything else. And he just stands on top of my bookshelf doing like one of these, like oh, the Mankind pose. Hmm. I mean, it looks like him. It's cool, but it doesn't... I think he might turn at the waist, and that's about it. Mm. So, I don't even know where he came from, to be honest. I cannot remember. Maybe... What else you got on there? Anything cool? Do you oh, know... Man. Have we ever talked about Street Fighter 2? Like, the, the game? The game, the characters, whatever. Street Fighter. I think last time we talked about Street Fighter, <coughs> it didn't go well. Because okay. I was never a Street Fighter... Okay. Kid so much. I went from Commodore to NES straight to PS1. Okay. So I never had really any consoles that people were playing Street Fighter on. Then and I'll, I'll save that. Yeah. I mean, I know everyone loves Street Fighter. I just I, don't know, I could never get into the, all the combos and stuff. I learned all the Mortal Kombat ones. I didn't have room in my brain for the Street Fighter ones. So I was not good at that game. I played some of the the ones where the moves were the same, like Baraka and Chun Li. <laughs> same moves. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could have done good. Oh, man, we saw some other guys at Target. There were some uh, Assassin's Creed, NECA Assassin's Creed figures that I, right. I figured you would have uh, exclaimed more about, and then well, didn't. Right, because I think I already have him. Yeah, that was going to be my question, is I, cause I feel like I may have seen them before, and I'm like, are these just re-releases, or...? To my knowledge, yeah. To my knowledge, so it's just Ezio, and it's in black or white. Oh, so that's the... Actually, I, I saw them again today, and I didn't even notice that. I guess I don't know that all those assassins look the same to me. You I mean, have I played think... all those games. I played the first one I stopped. A little bit. I stopped after 3, because 3 was so bad. Um... And I think, as far as figures go, they made figures up through three. Because I think they made Connor and Kenway. And then stopped, as far as I know. But there are good games, there's good characters after that point. There's a bit of reshuffling. I, think I heard the Valhalla one was pretty good or whatever. The... Yep. I played Odyssey, and I would buy a Cassandra, because she was fucking awesome. But uh, I don't know what NECA's doing with Assassin's Creed. So, I, 
I don't know if NECA knows what NECA is doing with this. If they Creed. if they continue, if they make new figures, newer assassins, I'd get them. You get some of those. But I guess if you've got them already, then you don't. Really but get Ezio them again. is the best character, as I recently said in a pop video of all things. A what? The Pop Guardian. Oh yeah, that's right. I talk about Ezio. Yeah, that's right, you do. He is in there. You'll see that one. That's another video that will be up probably already by the time you guys see this. Uh, I didn't know who the Guardian was. I never made it that far into a sam oh my God. Samurai Jack. Oh my God. I, uh, it's so great. We could have a discussion about those shows, but that'll have to be a separate time, I think. Because <laughs> I think I'll just... I'm gonna, it's going to be kind of along the lines of the Street Fighter show again, I think. Or the, the discussion, and I think you'll get mad at me. <laughs> For not having seen enough of it. Uh, well, I think that's a lot of the figures we've seen lately or that are coming out that were kind of interesting. Well, there you have it. Another successful podcast episode. This will be a fun one. I guess we'll probably have to divide it up into a bunch of pieces, I'd imagine, considering it's so late now. <laughs> I was going to suggest that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> that'll be a fun one. Yeah, that was a. I think we talked a lot longer than we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, time flies when we only do this. How often? A long time. Yeah. No, new schedule. It'll be a lot better. Every two weeks, or, yeah, every two weeks we'll record a whole bunch of videos. Let's get the. I'll I'll make it. I think. Not creepy or anything. <laughs> All right, look at that. We got out and it's still light outside. It's a new record for us. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I will uh, see you next time. Yeah. And we'll do some more weeks. recordings. It'll be awesome. All right. I'm going to go walk my shit over to my car. Okay. See you later. See ya. A long walk. What the? What is this? Oh, this is Toast Catwoman. Oh, I better grab this for him so he doesn't make it all the way home without it. Hey, Toast, you forgot this. You forgot. Hey, Toast. Yeah.